What's good everyone, welcome back to Hikante Rewinds, bringing you another game review. For today's review, we are taking a good look at Zombie Army 4 Dead War. Now, when playing the campaign, you can either go solo, or jump in a lobby with three of your friends, or strangers, and have some zombie killing fun, which was one of the great parts of the game. The controls of the game were fairly simple and easy to remember, which was very enjoyable just because it kept the excitement at hand so you can rack up on points you earn throughout each chapter. Which brings us to another great aspect of the game, the points you earn. How you earn your points are in a number of different ways and it takes everything into consideration. So the way the point system works, it grades you on how many kills you have, your accuracy, your kill combos, and best shot. Giving you a total score at the end of each chapter which made it really fun because even if you have the most kills, the system takes the other categories into perspective, making it more challenging for players to stay on top. The point system was really fun while playing online multiplayer just because it keeps things in a competition throughout each chapter of the game, or in horde mode, really forcing you to compete and wanting to stay ahead of your teammate. The storyline was not that great and in many ways all over the place, but what keeps you so glued is all the zombie killing and upgrading your character and their equipment to make it easier to fend off all the zombie and zombie bosses during a horde. The developers did a really good job with zombie boss fights, one of the most fun I've had in a zombie game. I was highly disappointed though at the fact that they did not put the zombie shark as one of the boss fights, instead it was used as a trap for zombies. So whenever you would shoot a little target by the shark, it would send an electric charge to the zombie shark, making it spasm out, eating and killing everything in its path, which is another unique part of the game I enjoyed. All the traps they had all over the maps, you were able to lure zombies to them and trap them just so you would have your kill combo skyrocket, which the game did a really good job on mixing all this awesome content together. So expect to have a lot of fun with your friends, because even though it was fun playing the campaign alone, playing it with your friends or even strangers made it so much more exciting and I would definitely recommend anyone to get the game just for the online gameplay experience. Playing it with your friends or even online with strangers made it that much better and fun. They also have the horde game mode where you basically fend off a bunch of zombies in waves. The higher you get in waves, the bigger the map gets. The crowd of zombies get larger, and it becomes harder to kill zombies. You eventually get to the point where you're fighting zombie bosses and harder to take down enemies. Which I like because it still goes off the point system. So you're competing all the way through each wave, but it's basically like Call of Duty Zombies. It's nothing new, we have all played it before, which is kind of a disappointment because I was looking for a new experience, and I think that's the one disappointment of the game. It was nothing new and everybody has played this type of game mode before in so many different game titles. Now the game did remind me a lot of the Left 4 Dead series, which is why I think this game is so appealing and fun to play. Everybody loved the Left 4 Dead series and the fact that there hasn't been a release on the new generation consoles for that series makes this game so much fun to play. Even though I know this game is based more on the Sniper Elite series, it gave me more of a Left 4 Dead experience. So when it all comes down to it, would I recommend you to buy this game? Yes, buy it, experience it for yourself. You won't be disappointed, the online multiplayer is a must experience, just for that reason alone. You get so much excitement competing online, it keeps you wanting to go back for some more playing time with your friends. But anyways, that's it for today's review. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for me so you know when I upload my next video. Peace.